Ahoy, my name is Jeej Wiles, <laughs> and I'm here to talk about him. That's Captain Ahab. He's a three foot tall, 40 pound, bright yellow, wooden fisherman slash aspiring wannabe pirate captain. <laughs> this is the story how he went from common lawn ornament to motivational traveler. <laughs> I love having conversations with strangers. I'm not talking about when I was five. Everybody knows the rules about creepy vans and strangers. I mean, sometime during our high school career, you, you realize that all your friends you have were strangers at some point in your life. <laughs> that being said, one hot summer day after completing our first year of college, we were at a cookout, and we met a man that told us a story. A story about a guy in the, arm, in the Air Force, and on the night before they left port, they would commandeer lawn ornaments. They would take them on their lengthy tours, take pictures, write letters, plaster it with cargo stickers of their world travels. When their tour was over, they would return the lawn ornament to its home with a huge scrapbook of its travels. <laughs> they watched from the bushes to see all the, the smiles from the parents of the lawn ornaments when they realized what had happened. <laughs> so naturally, being college kids with a knack for trouble, we instantly were motivated by this story and sought out to find a lawn ornament of our own to take back to college and return it with a scrapbook. We searched and searched for weeks with no luck, and just when we were on the brink of giving up, we found the perfect lawn ornament as we went flying by, and we called him Captain Ahab. The fall came at the University of New England, and we had a new lawn gnome doorstop with a camera around its neck. And any <laughs> time people asked, we had them take a picture, and we hung it on our wall. As the years went by, he became more of a social mascot, and he went to every social event and gathering you could think of. And before you knew it, our college career was over. But there was one problem. None of us graduated. <laughs> I still... <laughs> I still can't figure out why. <laughs> we did later. To celebrate our prolonged time with Captain Ahab, we went on a cruise to the Caribbean. Because that's when you do what you want to celebrate a momentous stepping stone like not graduating from college. <laughs> At this point, our love for talking to strangers had been fine-tuned. We started realizing that a byproduct of carrying Captain Ahab around was that he amplifies the characteristics of people around him. He was the perfect icebreaker. People would let down their guard just enough to let the curiosity get the better of them. This was, a, this was key in the evolution of Ahab. Instead of, strangers talking, instead of us talking to strangers, strangers were now talking to us. Another stepping stone that happened on this trip, instead of the, <laughs> another one that happened on this trip was a conversation with a man that sort of went like this. So what do you do with these pictures? Oh, I hang them on the wall of my house. So how do I see them? Oh, you can come visit if you want. <laughs> Why don't you make a website? You are a genius, my friend. <laughs> when we got home, we instantly made ahabsadventures.com. From this single adventure, we gained two pieces in ex any successful idea. We knew people had an interest in what we were doing, and we had a way to share it. The problem was we lost our... <laughs> the problem was we lost our first piece, our goal. The goal of Ahab was to graduate college, and we failed doing so. <laughs> so we had two options. We could give him back with one partially finished adventure, or we could give him a new purpose. As you can see, we chose the latter of the two, and we started traveling. He was my excuse to get out and see the country, and it made it much easier for my friends to come along with me. Instead of hearing the classic excuses like, I don't have the time, or the money, or my girlfriend doesn't let me leave after 5 p.m., <laughs> they wanted to take Ahab somewhere. That's what I told myself anyways. Do you honestly think if I was like, hey guys, do you want to drive 25 hours so I can take a picture next to that? They would have said yes. <laughs> Ahab transformed from a small joke between friends into having friends in every corner of the country. He was a logo you could wear when checking off accomplishments on your to-do list. Miniatures were created so people could take them on their own adventures. <laughs> and we even started collaborating with businesses to come up with unique ways to give back to our fans. I am definitely a slide ahead of myself. <laughs> the bottom line is that Captain Ahab is an example of why you need to commandeer your own life. If a three foot tall, 40 pound, bright yellow, wooden fisherman slash aspiring wannabe pirate captain <laughs> can do these things, you honestly have no excuse not to. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> we used to, <laughs> right. We use, them to see, we use them to seize every opportunity we can and to make sure every experience we have is worth sharing. We ask you to use our experiences to motivate yourself, 
to research places you want to go. And if you truly are unable to do these things, you can live vicariously through him and his travels. It doesn't matter if you are 8 or 80. Find your excuse to do the things you want to do. You don't need to change your whole life around to do them either. You also don't need someone like me or someone like him to tell you this. <laughs> or maybe you do. Looking back, one would not have believed Ahab's adventures was laying the foundation for something bigger. From the cross-country trips to jumping out of planes, to the national parks, to the nights on the town, from the tales around a campfire to talks like this one. Everyone connected to Ahab as a fan, friend, or business fuels Ahab's adventures to grow. They become part of a unique, ongoing story. And honestly, that's my favorite part. We never know when we'll meet the next person that helps Ahab's adventures evolve. But I look forward to every stranger that becomes my friend. <laughs> every stranger that becomes my friend and a fan of Captain Ahab. Because it was a story from a stranger that got this whole journey started. So why not let our story be the start of yours? Thank you. I went fast so I could take a picture of everybody. So I'd have an extra 20 seconds if you don't mind.